how to get the hilt to turn on without a blade. Uh, this is a Savage Workshop hilt, but a Legacy hilt. This will behave the same. Here's the blade connector from Dead Bothans. Here's a little piece of uh, clear tube that I've uh, hot glued onto it to give me something to grab onto so that I can insert it and remove it pretty easily. And I have three wires coming out of it. Red, black, and yellow. Red is power, black is ground, yellow is data. And for the moment, for demonstration purposes on this breadboard, there I have a 100,000 ohm resistor or a 100K resistor. Uh, that's just to limit the current that's going through back into the, uh, the microcontroller in here. I want to keep it really low so it doesn't do anything bad. And uh, well, the hilt is turned on now because it thinks there's a blade. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, so that works. That'll get any hilt to activate. Do you need the resistor? No, but I highly recommend it. I'll show you. I'm just gonna with my bare hand here. I'll connect the power and ground to uh, power and data together. It turns on fine. And I did some measurements, and it's about two milliamps going into the microcontroller, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's significant enough that I would be a little bit worried about that. So with the resistor, with a 100K resistor in place, it becomes something like five nanoamps that goes into the the, uh, the microcontroller. That's a lot safer. And it doesn't uh, in any way diminish the ability for this thing to detect or think that the, uh, a blade has been plugged in. So that's how you make the hilt think that a blade is plugged in. One way, anyways.